I've met over 100 millionaires in my lifetime, and today I'm gonna share the seven most important lessons that I learned from them. And before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much because by the time you're watching this video, I'm probably right about to hit a million subscribers. So to each and every one of you that's been supporting me over the last couple years, it means the world to me and I got so much more in store. But for now, let's get started with the first millionaire. Growing up, I only saw millionaires on TV and every single time I saw these people, they were either rappers, they were athletes, or they were white dudes in suits and ties. The people that that I had in my life were not anywhere near a million dollars. So a millionaire seemed like something that was so far out of my reality. But the first time that I actually met a millionaire was when I was 16 years old. I had went to a book signing for Damon John, the guy from Shark Tank. And when I was at this book signing, I seen one guy in there that pulled up in a nice looking shirt. He looked a little different from the rest of everybody. And I just walked up to him and I said, what's up? And it turns out that this guy owns one of the biggest aluminum companies in my city. His company at that time was making millions of dollars per year. And what I come to realize was he was just a regular guy. We were from the same hometown, he didn't come from a lot of money, and he didn't have any crazy expensive clothes or watch or jewelry. He didn't even drive in a nice car, he was driving in a pickup truck. But this guy was a millionaire. And after meeting him, he actually became my mentor and he worked with me over the next couple years of my life and guided me on the path that allowed me to make my first million dollars on the internet just three years later. But the biggest lesson that I learned from being around him is that millionaires and successful people are just regular people just like you and me. So the fact that this guy did it means that I can go out and do it for myself. And this was a huge mindset shift for me at that time. I know you might be watching this video or watching other guys on the internet thinking that we're so different from you, but at the end of the day, I am literally just a kid that sat on his computer and put the effort in, and that's what led me to the point that I'm at today. So after I finally made some money online after all these years, I ended up connecting with a bunch of other people who were also killing it on the internet. And this completely shifted my mindset of what it meant to make money and also taught me the second most important lesson that I learned. The second lesson that I learned is that the American dream that you've been sold is one of the biggest lies of all time. Let me explain. For our entire lives, we've been told to work a job, save money, invest it into a retirement account, and in 45 years, you're gonna become a millionaire. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is not the path that any millionaire I've ever met in my life has taken. Not only is it incredibly slow, but by the time you do have that million dollars, a million dollars ain't gonna be worth shit with inflation. Every single millionaire that I've ever met did not get there by saving a couple bucks at Starbucks, investing it into a Roth IRA, and then retiring 40 years later. The people that I know that became a millionaire did it by learning a valuable skill set and starting a business. Having a highly valuable skill set is the most important factor when it comes to making your first million dollars because with that, you can get an incredibly high paying job that gets you to that point or start a business that provides that skill to the world. For me, it was learning marketing and content creation. With marketing, it allowed me to start an online store and sell products, which was the business that ended up changing my life, and content creation, which is what's got me in front of you guys today and just crossing over a million subscribers. Now, to learn these skills, you have to get out there and do these things and you have to put the effort forth. But what I'm trying to say with lesson number two is that you're not going to become a millionaire by penny pinching and investing a little bit of your side change and saving your way there. The only way to become a millionaire is by developing a highly valuable skill and providing that to the world. Once I started surrounding myself with people that had money, it completely changed my perspective on what a dollar really is. And it also taught me lesson number three, which is money is abundant. In fact, there's so much money out there that is unfathomable. So if you can't get a dollar, you're doing something wrong. Yes, what your parents told you is true, money doesn't grow on trees, but what your parents forgot to tell you is that they literally print money. They print so much money you have no idea. And the majority of people are living their life in a very scarce mindset thinking that there's not that much money out there, which results to them setting extremely low expectations for themselves. I was in that same exact position. 
Back in 2017, when I started my first online store, I had set a goal for myself to generate $15,000 in revenue for the whole year. And what's crazy is that back then, I thought that goal was so massive. I thought that was the craziest goal ever, and I didn't even think I was gonna achieve that. I remember when I shared this goal with my mentor, he literally laughed at me, and he told me to my face, you need to think bigger, you need to aim higher, or else you're never gonna get to where you wanna actually go. And I did. And instead of finishing the year with $15,000 in sales, I ended the year of 2017 with over half a million dollars in sales on my store. And this just completely shattered everything I knew about money and it taught me the most important lesson that I learned and it's that there is so much money out there, you guys have no idea. You just have to go out, figure out what value you can provide to the world and figure out how you can extract just a little bit of it. For many years, I was stuck trying to figure out a way to make money. And it was when I learned this next lesson that things finally clicked and the money started coming in. Most people think to make your first million dollars, you have to come up with some revolutionary idea or invent some new product or create an award-winning album. But the reality of it is, almost every single millionaire that I know did it with what I would consider to be a saturated business model. Take my mentor, for example. He made his first million from selling aluminum. And as for me, I literally just started a dropshipping store and I found products that were already selling online. I added my marketing touch to them and I used Facebook ads to sell them and scale them to the world. When I found these products, I was not the first one to find them. I was not the first one to sell them and I didn't do anything crazy except for do a little bit of a better job than the people who were already selling it. But as a result, I've sold almost $5 million worth of products online from following this exact approach. The point of this lesson is that to make a million dollars, you don't have to come up with something brand new. The blueprint is already out there. You know, success leaves clues. You could just follow in the footsteps of people that have already done what you want to do and just add your own touch to it. And that's going to be the key to you making your money online. If you think of almost any business owner that you know, they followed this lesson. But the reason why they succeeded is lesson number five. And it's that they're better than you. Yes, I said it. These millionaires are better than you. It's not that you're a bad person, and I'm sure your mom still loves you so much, but the reason why you're not successful and these other people are beating you is because they're better than you at the thing you're trying to do. If you're trying to start a dropshipping store and you're struggling, but you see somebody else out there that's making $10,000 a day, there's no secret to it. He didn't find some magical winning product. He's simply better than you at website design, at marketing, at advertising. He's probably in better shape than you. He's probably healthier than you. He probably took your girlfriend on a date last night. <laughs> nah, but the point I'm trying to make is that there's no secret to success. The secret comes down in daily improvements on a consistent basis. And the people that go on to actually make money have done this longer than you and became better than you. It's just like you going to play basketball against LeBron James. He's gonna cook you in every single category because he's a better basketball player than you. If you go and start a business in a competitive field like agency, like drop shipping, like YouTube, you have to build your skill set up to that level that you can compete. And that takes time, but it's very much possible. If you watch my first videos, they suck. If you look at my first dropshipping store, it sucked, but I got better and the results followed. So why have you not become good enough at something to make millions of dollars from it? Well, it's likely because you're trying five different business models at the same time. And one of the biggest myths out there about making money is that to make millions of dollars, you need multiple streams of income. If you're trying to make your first million dollars, that ain't the way to do it. The key to making your first million is picking one path that aligns with the type of person that you are and sticking with that path for as long as it takes to become successful. If you keep bouncing from idea to idea because this week's guru has a new method for you to follow, you are in for a long and painful journey, my friend. And when I say these things, I am speaking from my personal experience. I have tried almost every business model that you guys can think of, and it was only after I made the decision to focus on one for years that it finally popped off and I made millions of dollars with it. I meet too many of you guys that are telling me about all these business ideas you have and all these businesses you're trying, but I'm telling you right now, you are messing up if you try to do it that way. 
And out of all the lessons I've told you in this video, if you were to take just one and apply it to your life, it should be this next one. This is something I learned on my own from years and years of trial and error and success and failure. And I wish somebody told me this when I was first getting started. On the quest for your first million dollars, don't lose your soul. Far too often, I see people starting a business with the complete wrong intentions. They wanna make money and they wanna make it fast at any cost. As a result, you got people out here selling drugs, scamming people, or just flat out running bad businesses that don't bring happy customers. The journey is long and it doesn't end until your life is over. And I see too many people that are 18, 19, 20 years old that are telling me they're stressed because they haven't made a million dollars yet. Are you kidding me? You are a literal child. You have so much time, you have no idea. During this journey of trying to make your first million dollars, you cannot lose your soul because it's going to take time. It's going to be hard. But one day, when you make that first million dollars, you're gonna look back on that day when you were 18 years old with a smile on your face and you're gonna cherish it. So if you're in that situation right now, no matter what age you are, just understand that these are the days you're gonna cherish forever when you finally make a million dollars. And spoiler alert, when you make a million dollars, your life doesn't really change that much. Again, I just wanted to say thank you so much for always supporting my channel over this last couple years. It feels so good to be coming up on a million subscribers and the best has yet to come. But seriously, without you, none of this is possible. So hopefully these seven lessons helped you out. I got more videos on the way. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.